Welcome to this beginner foxtrot slow slow quick quick dance lesson. Learning tips including health and safety advice are in the description. Slow slow quick quick slow slow quick quick is a popular way to dance foxtrot socially at least where I go dancing. Hence we got a whole lesson about it. Feet you might have seen this in a previous lesson. This is what it looks like from behind the leader. Notice the feet are offset. And this is what it looks like from the side. Well, ish. You might be further apart, you might be a little bit closer. And there it is, from behind the leader again. I recommend dancing or stepping the way you would naturally move when you walk. So for example, when I walk forwards, I tend to land in the heel of my foot. This is true for a lot of people. When I walk backwards, I tend to land in the ball or the front of my foot, which is again typical for a lot of people. You might, for example, walk very fast, in which case, maybe that's not quite true for you. Maybe you want to go, hmm, well, how would I move my body and my legs and my feet if I wasn't walking so fast all the time and try and kind of feel a slower movement? But generally, walk naturally, dance naturally, step naturally, it's all going to be good. Three, two, one, join in or watch. Brilliant. Now what we'll do is repeat the first little bit and, and stop a couple of times. That's it, lovely. Forward on the left, go. Forwards. Backwards. Stop. Let's start again. This is good exercise. Forward on the left, join in or watch. Let's start now. Forwards. Backwards. Lovely. So that's it, let's do that again. Forward on the left, let's start now. Forwards, backwards. Right, now this time we'll just carry on. Forward on the left, oh hang on, find the right point in the music. Let's start dancing now. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, lovely. Let's do that one more time. So let's all start with the left foot. Join in or watch. Let's go now. Side step. Side step. Just emphasizing the side step. Sure. Generally, people pick up on quite quickly. And hands up if you found it easier without me talking. Kind of varies. Let's do oh lovely, round of applause everybody, hooray! Let's break down the individual steps. Some people find this very useful, some people find it confusing, so you kind of use this as much as you want to. Let's look at the leader steps. First step forward with the left. Second step forward with the right. Third step sideways onto the left, and then change weight onto the right. You're ready to go back on the left, then back on the right, then sideways on the left, step on the right, forward on the left. By the way, I'm exaggerating my sidestep. I wouldn't step this far to the side once I get got dancing. Back on the right for the follower, back on the left for the follower, sideways on the right for the follower, again exaggerating, step onto the left for the follower, 
forwards on the right, forwards on the left, sideways on the right, again exaggerating, wouldn't actually go that far, step onto the left, and then you carry on as before. Now let's just look at it done together. So we're going to see the leader and the follower steps at the same time. Leader forward, follow back. Leader forward, follow back. Both of us sideways in the same direction. So dancing together, side, step. And then leader backwards, follower forwards. There we go. Leader backwards, follower forwards, and so on. Oh, I can just see you over there, hi. We're going to use this long wall here so that you can see a few repetitions um, of the basic. Let's just go for it. So leaders start with the left, followers start with the right. Let's start dancing now. Slow, slow, quick, quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, quick. There you go. So if we dance together, we can keep going in the same direction if the leader starts with the left and the follower starts with the right. So the leader starts with the left traveling forward, the follower starts with the right traveling backwards. Let's start dancing now. <gasps> slow, slow, quick, quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, quick. Depending on your learning style, you might like it broken down step by step. So let's just do that once. And even if it's not your learning style, I recommend having one go at this because you can learn things from it. It can sort of challenge you in different ways. So leaders can start with the left, followers can start with the right, and we're going to travel this way. Let's take one step and go. Step. So the leader is going to carry on in that direction. The follower is going to carry on in that direction for one more step. And step. We're now going to go sideways. So we were traveling forwards. Complete change. We're now going sideways. And side. We now have one more step left. We have to make sure we change weight during this step. And step. So we're now ready to go with this foot. The leader is now going to go backwards and the follower is going to go forwards. So this is, you might think of this as step five, because we've already taken five, uh, four steps. This is a fifth. Or you might think of it as step one of a new set. And step. There's going to be one more step in this direction. And step. We're now going to go to the side again, so one step to the side, side, and challenge. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen is we, this foot will close and we will change weight. So this is either step, step number eight or step number four, depending on how you're thinking about it. And step. So now the left and the right leg, the left leg of the leader and the right leg of the follower are ready to start again from where we started this earlier, going this way. Put on. Puzzle, we're going to dance foxtrot. Which direction should I be facing? The answer is, I need to be facing the wall because we're going to be traveling sideways. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Notice we're traveling sideways. So the wall is there. I'm facing the wall. As I turn the corner, I turn the corner, then I carry on facing the wall. So I can keep traveling sideways that way. A chance for a practice. We're going to be dancing to keep you company. You might dance your own thing or try to copy us.
Here's another look at the feet. Your feet do not have to look exactly like this. For example, my experience means my feet come very close to my partner's feet. But if I were just learning, I don't think it would be this close. Detail for the leader. The follower's right foot is really important. I'm aiming to be stepping each side of that right foot, but tucking in quite close to it. We're going to dance really tiny, just so that you can see it. And slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. We're going to do the slow, slow, quick, quick, and then we're going to freeze so that we can look at the position of the feet. We're going to freeze mid-step. So it won't be at the start of the step, it won't be at the end of the step, it'll be the middle of a step. And slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, stop. So we're mid-step here. Notice our feet are right next to each other. It occurs mid-step when the leader steps forward on the right. We're going to do the slow, slow, quick, quick, and we're going to freeze halfway through a step and look at the position of the feet. So you can join in or watch, and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, stop. So we're kind of mid-step here. I may have called a step fractionally late. Notice the feet are now together. That's because the follower stepped forward on their right. I stepped back with my left, which led the feet to be next to each other. So that's, that's the second occasion during the foxtrot when the feet are going to end up really close. Is this the start of the step? Is this the end of the step? It's neither. It's in the middle of the step. And if we'd finished, we would have ended up like that. Foxtrot together, holding hands like this. Now we're going to have to make sure that we kind of step about the same distance. So let's, so leaders with the left, followers with the start, right, let's start dancing now. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow slow, quick, quick, slow. So what will happen is, now that we've just started holding hands, you'll, you'll start learning to kind of travel about the same together. We'll just do it sideways on so you can see that. So wouldn't normally dance down the middle of the dance floor. So in fact, yeah, let's not do that. We'll, we'll go over here along the edge. So you'll watch and notice how we kind of travel the same distance forwards and backwards so we can keep the hold the same. So leaders starting on the left, followers on the start and the right, join in or watch and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, aiming to keep this distance the same Another chance to dance. Maybe practice holding hands as you dance this time.
common question at this stage comes from followers to do with stepping forwards. They often report that it feels a bit awkward. I think this is because generally in the ballroom dances the follower doesn't step forwards. And so here it's a bit of a surprise. It's a less familiar movement. So generally I just recommend getting used to it. Leaders, let's practice our quicks. We're going to go with the left and quick, 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 quick,
And I do think if this happens, you almost need, if you're like a beginner at a social dance, just go, whoa, let's, should we just stop? Let's just, oh, look, there's a gap. Should we just come back over here and start again? Facing towards the wall. So I'm, I'm really, really facing the wall. Tucking into the wall all the time, only turning to the left when I get right to the corner. Oh, almost crashed into the wall there. But that's better than sort of going backwards into someone more experienced that's dancing past us in the middle of the room. Debbie's waiting over there for me so that we can demonstrate something. I'm just going to do it and talk at the same time. Watch my upper body. It's barely moving at all. Watch my upper body. It's barely moving at all. Even when I'm with my partner, my upper body's hardly moving. Even with my partner, my upper body's hardly moving. I'm going to leave Debbie behind. Look at my upper body. Bum, 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 bum. So I think that's good technique. Do you want to come over here? Now, the alternative is that it's very tempting to start kind of leaning over to the side and stuff like that. If you do that, it, let's, let's, if Debbie faces back to the camera, imagine what's going through Debbie's head if I keep a nice frame. It's like, ooh, Duncan sent me backwards, Duncan sent me sideways, all that's nice and clear. But what if I'm kind of doing all this as well? I always think it's kind of like noise. It's like trying to listen to someone in a room. And if one person's speaking, I think it's generally easier to hear if there's, there's lots of voices. So if all you're doing is just nice, clear movements, it's clearer. But if there's loads of other stuff going on, I think it makes the, yeah, makes it more difficult to follow. Common question, do I have to go, go forwards and then backwards and then forwards and then backwards and so on? No, you don't. So for example, Let's, let's see what happens here. I'm going to pretend that we're at this angle already and the corner is way over there. So we're going to go start off by going forwards. Watch. Forwards, forwards, sidestep, forwards, forwards, sidestep, forwards, forwards, sidestep, forwards, forwards, sidestep, back, back, sidestep, forwards, forwards, sidestep, backwards. Why did we keep going forwards? Well, because the corner was kind of over there, so why not keep heading towards the corner, assuming there's nobody in the way? Did you see my feet doing something strange while I was stepping backwards? Uh, I'll show you from sideways on. I was tending to do this and leave my foot like that as I step backwards. Watch. Step, step, step. I'll now exaggerate it. I would probably not exaggerate like that all the time. I think it can end up looking a bit strange. Um, why am I doing that? It's, it's partly because I got taught to do it years ago, and it's partly actually, it feels kind of natural. If you let the leg be really relaxed, it kind of comes quite naturally. Um, do you have to do it? No. If you're just starting out, should you try to make it happen? Absolutely not, because this is a distraction. Let's, let's get everything else working. The foot thing can happen naturally anyway with time. Um, but it's just to say, you don't have to copy it, but if your feet are starting to do that, that's fine, let it happen. If they're not, that's fine. Um, also, depending on the shoes you're wearing, the muscle development on the front and the back of the leg, all that kind of stuff, that, it, it may not work for you anyways. But there you go, quick discussion about the feet. When we broke the stepping down earlier in the lesson, the sidestep was exaggerated. Some students pick up on that, and kind of carry that with them. So be aware the sidestep is very small. It's essentially as demonstrated in all the other clips, ignoring the one where we broke the stepping down. So sidestep is small. Potentially the sidestep is tiny. As a variation, I will sometimes dance the sidestep almost on the spot just to create a bit of variety, although that can cause you to travel quite slowly around the dance floor and maybe cause a bit of a traffic jam. I've saved this for the end on purpose. There's two slows, then two quicks. What happens next? Well, there's another slow, obviously. But what seems to happen to a lot of people is that there's a really long pause after the second quick before the slow. Like, it just feels like a really long time. I know it feels like a long time to me as well. And I wonder why. Maybe it's because you've just done two quicks, which gets your brain going faster 
and the body momentum's going and so it just feels like a long time even though it isn't before the next slow. Anyway, look out for this. If you find yourself speeding up, maybe it's because you're not waiting long enough after the second quick. And anyway, maybe check this in your dancing. A final chance to practice dancing foxtrot in this lesson. We'll keep you company. It was a packed lesson, so maybe just enjoy yourself a bit for this last dance. Thanks for watching. This is one of a series of nearly 50 lessons that create a complete partner dance learning experience. The video description and my website have lots more information to help.